हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम सतीश कुमार मिश्रा इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक जीन पैंट एंड टी शर्ट एंड इट इज ए फोर पार्ट्स ट्यूटोरियल इट इज द पार्ट वन ट्यूटोरियल एंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू यूज मार्बलस डिजाइनर टू क्रिएट द जीन पैंट एंड द टी शर्ट ओके एज यू कैन सी आई हैव द कैरेक्टर मॉडल हियर and i am going to use this uh, model to make the clothes i selected the polygon tool and now i am giving points uh, in the 2d pattern window to make the t-shirt and i have uh, i have done only the uh, one side then i selected the edit curve point and gave a curve on this area now selecting the points and adjusting it to match the model which is in gray color Then I selected the polygon and right clicked on it. Then went to symmetric pattern with sewing option. Uh, now I have the other side. Then I clicked on segment sewing and sewed uh, this area. Now selected the both polygons and uh, pressed uh, Control C to copy and Control V to paste and arranging the position of uh, these polygons in 3D window. selected the two polygons and went to flip normal option then uh, segment uh, sewing tool and uh, see sew sewing these four uh, pieces to each other now i press the space bar to simulate Okay now I need some tweaking I am adjusting the points so that it will uh, fit better without the intersection I am adjusting with edit curve point tool Now I took a rectangle then I selected the edge and uh, right clicked on it and went to split then I selected the uniform split option and clicked okay then I moved that point upwards with the arrow key then right clicked on it then uh, convert to curve, curve point then went to edit curve point now adding points to edit the curve I am making uh, a smooth curve here.
okay now i am using free streaming tool then i am uh, placing the polygon close to the character model in 3d window Then I press the spacebar to simulate. Adjusting the length of this polygon. Now into segment sewing tool and sew these two edges. Okay now it's looking fine. Then I selected the polygon and right clicked on it then went to symmetric pattern and placing it properly in the 3D window. Then simulated it. Gave it a color to differentiate uh, from the character. Now I am adjusting everywhere uh, to enhance. Then uh, I am merging the uh, cloth pieces together where I don't need seam. Now I am selecting these edges then right clicked on it and went to offset as internal line and kept the distance uh, to 12. Did the same thing with the uh, bottom edges. Is the internal lines are not connected with the polygon. So I drag selected this area and right clicked on it and uh, went to extend trim and uh, add point then uh, to pattern outline now it's connected i am doing the same thing with the other internal lines Adding points here to make it a little round.
ओके नाउ इट्स लुकिंग गुड नाउ आई एम मेकिंग द पैंड सो आई टू के रेक्टेंगल एंड पुट इट इन टू ए डिफरेंट लेयर एंड गेव इट ए व्हाइट कलर Now I selected the t-shirt layer and went to physical property preset then change it to cotton voile and simulated I selected the polygon right clicked on it then went to uh, reset 3d arrangement and adjusting its position in 3d window Then I selected the polygon, right-clicked on it, then went to symmetric pattern, and now I'm uh, placing it in the 3D window. Then I went to segment sewing tool, then sewing the edges, and now simulated. For the intersection, uh, I selected these polygons. Then, in property editor, went to simulation properties. Then, layer, uh, change its value to one. Then, simulated it, and now you can see uh, there is no intersection. Now I selected the polygon tool and uh, made this. Then selected the point and right clicked on it and went to convert to curve point. Then went to edit curve tool and tweaking it. Now I selected this point uh, and applied convert to curve point. then i am adjusting it by edit curve point tool then i selected the polygon and right clicked on it then clicked on symmetric pattern with sewing option i added these two polygons in the second layer placing it properly in the 3d window then selected these polygons and press control c to copy and control v to paste now i am placing it in 3d window then i right clicked on it and clicked on flip normal option now i am editing the points then went to segment sewing tool and sewing these polygons
okay for this part i am using free sewing tool Then I simulated it. Okay, it's looking good but too tight. So I am going to increase the width of these polygons. I am editing the points so that it will look good. I am checking everywhere and fixing it. Then I selected the internal polygon line tool and making the pant a side pocket. I am adjusting the line so that it will look good on the pant. I am adjusting everywhere on the pants so that it will look good.
now for the back side pocket i selected the internal uh, rectangle tool and place the rectangle where i needed now i am editing the rectangle as per the pocket i need then i duplicated that pattern same thing i did with the other side too now i am placing the duplicated pattern in 3d window then i flip the normals of these two patterns Now I am doing the segment swing. Once I finish with the swing, then I simulated it. Now working on this part. For this I selected uh, internal polygon line and adding the points where I need As you can see that line also came to this uh, side of the polygon so I selected that polygon uh, right clicked on it then selected the remove linked editing option now I deleted that line I am uh, making the line smooth Now I am selecting these lines uh, then right clicked on it then I selected the cut and sew option Now I duplicated this polygon and placing it uh, on 3D window. And editing as per I need.
Then selected the free swing tool to sew this. Then I selected the uh, sew then deleted it. I did this because I want to make a zip here. Okay now I selected that polygon then right clicked on it then selected the hide thread pattern option. Now it will be easy for me to make the zip here. I selected the zipper tool and dragging the lines where I need the zip. Then double click on the last point and hit the simulate button. Now as you can see zip is ready. Then I clicked on show all 3D patterns option in 3D window. Now I selected the zipper adjusting its properties to match as per my requirement. Now I, I deleted the sew of these two polygons. Then I am going to uh, add a button here. Then I selected the button tool and placing the button where I need. Then I selected the button tool and placing it as per the button. Okay, now I selected the fasten button tool, then selected the button and drag it towards the button hole. Then I am adjusting it look proper.
now i am decreasing the value of vertical distance distance so that it will look smooth and the folds uh, to be more clear as you can see the folds are uh, more uh, clear now Now I use tag tool uh, to keep the button and button hole close to each other. I am adjusting everywhere to make the clothes uh, look more natural.
I selected these lines and went to offset as internal line option. Then I selected the internal lines and we went to uh, cut and sew option. I am doing the same thing with the t-shirt also. Then I selected the polygon and went, and went to uh, layer clone uh, over option. I am doing the same thing to others as well.
after I cut and see you, uh, I noticed the zipper had gone. So I am going to make the zipper again. I am going to follow uh, the same process as I did earlier. Okay, uh, now I am done uh, creating the t-shirt and jean pant from Marvelous Designer. Next part, I am going to uh, do cleanup in ZBrush and uh, the base mess in Maya. To stay updated for the tutorials, please subscribe. And if you like this tutorial, then uh, please like, comment and share.